All right, John Sykes, the OG bad boy. He just released a new song from his forthcoming solo album, Dawning of a Brand New Day, which I must say, I've been waiting for a long time. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Those of you who don't know who, who Mr. Sykes is, well, he's amazing guitar player, an amazing vocalist, an amazing songwriter. He has played in Tigers of Pantang, Thin Lizzy, Whitesnake, uh, his own solo career, career and then uh, Blue Murder, great band that he founded after, well, I guess he, when he got fired from Whitesnake. Whitesnake's 1987 album, that's, that's a masterpiece. That's like one of the best hard rock, those swagger albums that has been ever released. And John Sykes plays on, plays on guitar on that, and he also wrote almost all of the tunes with David Coverdale. So, and then, you know, he, he uh, founded Blue Murder, which is kind of like <laughs> Whitesnake, but John is singing, he's, I think, don't call this heresy, but I think he's better vocalist than Coverdale. <laughs> but <coughs> anyway, this is about in the style of a John, so, he has a, well, this is pretty easy for me because, <laughs> you know, I, I play a lot like John and Zach Wilde and Gary Moore and those kind of, you know, pentatonics, wide vibrato, aggressively hitting the strings, occasional arpeggios, mm, tappings, Dorian, Aeolian modes and sometimes even some diminished stuff. You know that, well, you know, you play what you love. I play what I love. And I love that kind of play. And I love John Sykes. Well, he's playing. I don't know the guy, but you get the idea. Okay, <laughs> well, the gear I was using, I mean, John, John has used his blackless Paul basically all of his life. And, and Marshall 800s and Mesa Boogies. And I guess recently he, he's been using a EVH threes, which I have used too. On, on both Cyrus albums. Uh, what I have here is, you know, Tokai, AMG 5766, they're kind of like hybrid between active EMGs and your know, traditional PAF style pickups. I guess John had his amps modded, mine are stock, so uh, I boosted the sound just a little bit with this bus super overdrive. And then Sir Reactive Load and uh, Jens Progress Sound of God IR and then to Logic where I have a just a little bit of stereo delay, what I had on the song, and so on to make it more juicier. So, Bad Boys, the song, that was just some backing track I got from internet. So, uh, a really good example of John's playing. There's a lot of his traditional stuff, like the way he uses chords, uh, the solo, and, and everything. So basically, yeah, this guitar is now in E, e flat standard. So basically, it starts with. So it's kind of like D, and then you move. It's kind of basically like a C sharp slash A. And then to E power chord. And then this C, I think this has a flat five, because C5 is this power chord and then you just flatten the fifth and then the second time is the yeah he used he uses pinch harmonics which I love <laughs> and you know this a and pinch from G. And then comes it again, and then comes on the third round, it's... So natural harmonics, the way you do it, and you know, you press slightly on top of the fret. So five, five, four, 
five, five. And then the fourth time, it's this classic Randy Rose, Eddie Van Halen, John Sykes lick. Like. So basically you're doing a pull-offs. With a D, G, D and an A string. So four, two, one. And then the, the song kicks in, again the same. And then comes this, what, what John uses a lot, like this kind of inversion slash chords. So this is basically... But there's the A, like... Because the bass is doing A, so basically this is like... Uh, C slash A, and then it's, it's kind of like... G major, but the A. So this is like G major slash A, maybe. And then what he uses a lot, kind of a little bit what Jakey e. Lee does. Probably Jake got this from John. This like tiki tiki. And here is like C and it's D, so basically this is like C slash D. Same kind of what he uses on uh, Is This Love. lot of those slash chords. See something you know. Okay, so where were we? And then comes this again, another, this kind of like eight notes, 16 notes, whatever it is, like that he uses this. It's like rock and roll. Rock and roll thing, so. Similar idea uh, is still the night. Okay, so there's a lot of those in John's playing a lot. So, yeah, the pre calls Again, kind of is like inversion, so it's C, then it's G, G5, but not here. Or maybe, I, I think on the Bad Boys Live he played it. Or, but uh, I just played like... Cool. Then comes the chorus, so it's so it's again his the whole song he's flirting with that same theme this uh, C flat five the, you know chord and and this classic like which I use a lot too. <laughs> So a little simple, but uh, your standard E, D, C chords, but he uses them really, I think, really cool way. So it's not your. Really nice. And uh, well, yeah, that's, those are the riffs. Really cool stuff. This is one of the best songs ever, and it's such a joy to play. And uh, then comes the solo. It, ch it changes key from E to F sharp. And, and here's a lot of uh, your traditional John Sykes leaks. So it starts with the, this uh, pentatonic. And first, when I played it, I obviously thought, yeah, it's your... 
But then when I listen it carefully, it's not the usual. So there's also a genre twist. So it's basically like. Kind of like this. Then comes this like Dorian slash major minor pentatonic click. I do this a lot. I just love how they sound. So and these. I don't know if that's on the White Snake, but on the Bad Boys Live, he he does this like white, which is really his, you know, really vocal, like wah wah rado. Love that. And, and then, then comes this another standard John John Leak. So it's kind of like tremolo picking and trills at the same time, just like. You just go balls out nuts. So I like it's like this. Yeah, just let it rip. And with a neck pickup, it's a smooth sound. And then then <laughs> I'm not actually sure what happens. It's so fast. But what I played on the song, I, I just played like a, F F sharp minor scale with with like this. So basically, you're doing. And then this gliding is basically like pentatonic. Or you can play. It does something similar on, on the Bad Boys Live. There's a clip on YouTube, so I can't like, okay, what he's doing. So, but I think it's it's like a and then this wide bend first, like one, and then a couple of steps. What I do? It just sounds fantastic, you know. This. Then comes this really fast, I think it's like a door, F sharp Dorian. On the Whitesnake album, it's like. Almost this kind of like Christmas vibe. But on the on the Bad Boys Live, I think he, he just plays like. So it's basically like a F sharp Dorian lick. And a little bit tremolo there, you know. And and then then uh, he does, you know, like kind of like Pentatonic, it's a little bit similar stuff, at least on the on the Bad Boys Live, what he did in the beginning. And then wide bend from 21st fret. And wide vibrato. And then comes this. This is basically like E minor arpeggio. He does arpeggios a lot, lot like. Like E minor nine, so I really love that. Sometimes he just lets it rip, like pentatonics, balls out, chromatics, and then these really nice uh, minor arpeggios or major. So uh, well, again, back to the songs. So. It's kind of 
flirting around with that uh, E minor arpeggio. <laughs> Then on the live, there's kind of this. So, like. And then you gently touch. You can do it like. With your palm, I usually like to do it with the, the thumb. So, that's a great example of John's technique. And let's go through a couple of like standard licks. I'm not sure if these are actually what he has played, but in the style of. So what he does, he he plays many times these rapid fire pentatonic licks, like uh, and combining like natural Aeolian mode and, and Dorian mode. So this is kind of good example. I think he plays something similar on. Uh, I I I found some White Snake live of crying in the rain so it's like really fast like something like so basically I mean I picked a lot but I've Heard John also peak, and then sometimes he's doing. Like hammer on some pull off. But the idea is like, this is actually quite simple. So it's just like. So that's your Aeolian, E natural minor. And then he moves up the scale. And he, he does like... Same scale and same idea. And then he switches, at least in some solo, I, so he did like... So, once again... It's kind of signature Sykes. Sykes thing. And then... Yeah, this, this is what I, what I played at the end of uh, Bad Boys. Was this E minor nine? What he, I, I've heard him play sometimes. This is really nice. And then, then you can throw in like. Really melodic, but at the same time really aggressive playing, and I just I love that. He has like the best qualities of the many of my favorite players all into all into one. And it's actually a bit shame that he hasn't released more stuff. But luckily, you know, we got the new single, which is it sucks. Yeah. Okay, then, <clears throat> what else? Yeah, he uses these kind of unison things, so kind of tricks your ear. So let's say like this. So what we have here is basically G, 
and then B, and then B here, and then this E. This is what he, what he does, so then sometimes you... Classic like melodic, a little bit like uh, Schenker. He's just not a balls out a rock and roll swagger, but uh, let me switch amp to it's set to clean and calls. So he has really nice clean. I mean, is this love? It's like. Slash chords, and then the traditional E minor, D, D, C, G. This is like F something, but he plays it not the whole, but just like inversions. He's a He's a fantastic player, ab absolutely one of my my favorite favorite players because he has that you know swagger and he doesn't you know how do I say nitpick he, like you know he obeys the guitar so like I said before that. You need to obey the guitar, it needs to sound good, then when it comes out it will be good. And John, he has that, that magic touch. Hey, hopefully this was interesting and I encourage you to check out more of, of Sykes stuff. I'll put some links on the description below, and especially the 1987 by Whitesnake, Blue Murder and uh, the bad boys live it's just fantastic balls out swagger swaggery guitar playing like it should be in my opinion hey thanks for watching and happy 2021 let's hope that this will be a bit different than the previous one take care bye